this heavily modified Boeing 747, the airborne laser can track and destroy intercontinental ballistic missiles even before they leave enemy territory. To be effective, its highly charged lasers have to work over incredible distances. The exciting is not something that, that is releasable, but uh, we do admit that it's in the hundreds of kilometers. Rick Garcia was the director of public affairs for the ABL project. But the airborne laser can fly over friendly territory looking for targets that are well into the enemy's area. Before taking out an incoming missile, the ABL uses a whole bank of sensors and low-powered lasers to size up the target. On the skin of the aircraft, there are six infrared sensors, one in the nose, one in the tail, kept on either side. And when a missile is launched, the hot exhaust plume from that missile will set off one or more of those infrared sensors. So then the first of the four lasers fires, and so it fires a relatively low-powered laser with a wide field of view toward that missile. Some of that light will hit the missile body and reflect back. That'll tell the aircraft the speed, the range, the altitude, even the point of origin, and possibly where it's going to impact. Next, a low-power beam gives a precise fix on where to focus the energy. Then, to maximize the energy that reaches the target, a third beam measures the air turbulence between the ABL and the target. Using the same optical systems that telescopes use to see further into space, the ABL instantaneously reacts, overcoming these atmospheric distortions. This allows the full force of the killer laser to reach the missile, singling out its weakest part, the fuel tank. So all you have to do is hit the body of that tank, get it to heat up, get it to start to crack, and then it explodes from the inside out. So it's a catastrophic failure at that point. And from the time that that first infrared sensor goes off to the time that that missile is toast can be anywhere from 8 to 12 seconds.